What is going on, my everythings? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap right on into your reading and your energy and see what you need to know. This is going to be for current energy, your current situation. Archangel Michael on the lake wall, please protect me. Protect my mind. That's the vocal one, okay? Taylor is always adding something to the message. Okay, whatever that was, you needed to hear it. <laughs> All right, let's ask Archangel Michael in the leg water to protect me. Protect my mind. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Let's clear all my chakras as we tap into the most important messages surrounding my everything's energy. Somebody's calling for your attention, or you could have been calling for somebody's attention, and somebody's like kind of like ignoring you. Okay? Yep, the moon. Dang. All right, so right now, <laughs> all right, somebody chose bad and you chose good. All right, a lot of you guys are in new relationships. A lot of you guys are in love, twin flame, your partnerships, your kingdom spouse. And I'm seeing somebody in your past is highly disappointed. All right, going through a lot of dark phases in their life when it comes to Somebody that they was trying to hide, somebody that they was dealing with, somebody that they couldn't release, somebody that they was completely attached to. Toxicity, the moon card. All right, somebody has lost. This is feminine energy. All right, somebody has lost all connections with their higher self. All right, somebody is completely in a state of suffering and it brung somebody down with them. All right. It brung somebody down. Somebody knew what they was doing. All right. And what I see is that you left that situation alone because you know why you have options. Just like Taylor was being vocal, you get tired of being vocal to somebody. You get tired of expressing your needs and, you, and your wants. All right. The divine has brung in your divine masculine and divine feminine. All right. And somebody got to stay in this type of toxicity, disappoint. Somebody is polluted. All right, somebody has polluted themselves. All right, you know, um, there's a certain level of pollution, of, of, of nastiness that, that, that can build up in you for you to, like, be divine again. All right, this is a whole lot of settling in darkness. All right, the ladder has been pulled away from them. All protection, all covering, all saving, all guidance. All sustainability has been lifted. All right? You moved on. Y'all, you moved on. You could have been moved on six months ago, six years ago, six weeks ago. But you are finally in love. All right? I'm hearing, never mind. My other man did it. Never mind. I don't have to talk to you no more. Never mind. I don't have to express to you anymore. My man got it. Actually, he put a ring on it. Oh, my other shorty got it. Never mind. You don't got to do it. I'm going to put a ring on this. And that's how the revenge goes. The revenge is looking up and moving on, all right? And letting these men and women be like this. You can't save these people. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved, all right? These people ain't want to be saved. They were stuck in a karmic energy, surrounded by disappointments, waving disappointments on everybody, drinking to death. Okay, literally, you found love. Look, ten of cups, yeah, happily ever after. Pregnancy, fertility, inclusion, support, chemistry, a new family. All right, literally, your other man did it. Never mind, your other man did it. Your other man got you pregnant. Your other man put a ring on it. Your other man take you out. Your other man is excited. All right, so ten of cups to the, to the lovers. This your soul family. This your soul family, congratulations. The happiest you will be moving forward. Everything around you will be surrounded with love, patience, gratitude, connections, fertility. Your soul tribe. No more disappointments. No more having to put yourself in isolation. 
or stress to somebody what you need. Somebody ready to be there. All right. They know what they got. You know what you got. All right. This is family. This is partnership. This is your legacy has now formed. Okay. Wow. Yep. Your other man did it. Never mind. My other man doing it. All right. Never mind. Look. Broken hearted. Toxicity. You left all of that behind. Spirit, give me more on this moon card. This full moon, a lot of people that you left behind and made them stay there is heavily in their feelings. Because they know where they stand with these people that they chose. Whether they chose it verbally or unconsciously. Look, contentment. All right, their exes, the people that they chose, all right, boost your confidence. Your feet up. All right, your feet up. That, that, that probably would have, was the best decision for you to let them stay there. All right, you have found peace in a situation. Okay, and I'm not surprised. You found peace in a partnership. You found peace in your kingdom spouse. You found love in all the right places. All right, this is giving honeymoon. All right, you are on your honeymoon stage, baby. You ain't got time to be worrying about that dark energy and about what, what couldn't love you, didn't know how to love you. All right, that fumbled. All right, you. So, yeah, content and found peace in a situation. All right, somebody was also trying to drag you down. Somebody was trying to, trying to intoxicate you, okay, in some sort of way, but you found peace, feet up, living good, all right, literally. Spirit, give me more on this indulgence. That these people indulge in negative habits, negative activities. Huh. Needing space. Let me tell you, y'all start to realize who y'all was dealing with, all right? They were filled with unhealthy behaviors, all right, addictions, okay? Literally, once you are aware of who you are, all right, you could detach, and that's what you did. You needed space, and once you chose yourself, guess what came? Your man of your dreams. The man of your dreams, you got somebody loving you correctly. You are having a beautiful family with somebody. All right, so you took space. All right, space was needed. All right, dealing with this person, it might have had you drinking a lot. It might have had you dealing with um, unhealthy behaviors, abuse, and trauma that you was trying to release. Look how happy you have been from separating from karmic energy, all right, karmic masculine, okay, to your divine. You move from karmic to divine order. All right, you are happy, you are free, you are living life. All right, time away is what you needed to find yourself. Okay, time away was needed from these unhealthy habits that you picked up from karmic energy. All right, trying to mask and suppress your true feelings. Okay, Spirit, give me more on this lover's card. You found peace and contentment in a situation after you took space for yourself. You found yourself again. Okay, congratulations, y'all. All right, no more indulging in toxicity. No more indulging in drinking and suppressing your energy. All right, that's for lanes. But what you all doing is chasing your dreams. All right, what you all doing is chasing your dreams. Okay, your, all your high hopes and your fantasies are evolving. Okay, so spirit, give me more on this lover's card. 909, you could be a life path number nine like me. Look, love, there you go. Let me tell you, it's somebody for everybody. All right, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Okay, literally, somebody knows how to love you correctly. All right, somebody is bringing you and giving you flowers while you alive. All right, somebody is not wasting no time. Okay, somebody knows what they got and you will feel love. This is divine energy, all right, divine beauty, where it says you care about one another, one another deeply. You found your spouse, you found your person, all right? This is true love, all right? Showing you what you never have to deal with. 
You never have to beg for love in this connection. Never. All right? So expect, expect flowers. Expect love on a high level. Expect evolving in your connection. And expect feeling like that's where you need to be. All right? Your other man showing out. All right? Your other man is showing out. Look. Because look what they dealt with. This is what's around them. They thought, all right, what was, what was looked at as a come up and a blessing was actually their demise, all right? They're dealing with people in filth, chaotic energy, all right? A lot of reflection is needed. And that's where they got to stay. Look, they don't even want to be there, y'all. You chose that side and you got to stay there. They being love bombed. They're, they're, they're going through it. And they have to stay there. All right? Or heal. All right? The feelings are definitely not mutual. All right? And you finally letting things be. That's not your problem no more, baby. All right? That's not your problem. All right? Your other man doing it. Your other man doing it. Big. You don't have to tell your other man nothing. All right? He knows. Okay? He's seen who he had. And that's why he put a baby in it. That's why he growing a family in it. That's why he put a ring on it. That's why he's evolving in his connection. That's why he's giving you your flowers while you're here. Letting you know how beautiful you are. This is somebody that lets you know, all right, with the things that he says and does. Actions speak louder than words, all right? All right, so Spirit, what is the closing out messages? Because these are pretty short readings, all right, that it's pretty clear. Look, short term. They was looking for this, flings, all right, people to use, okay, people to use, one night stands, low vibrational energy, and now they got to stay there, all right, because the karmic lesson and path has been closed, all right, from September through November, you will be evolving in your new connection, all right, because you closed a karmic path with a karmic energy, all right, now, they see in that person true colors. They see in that person true colors. And this is the karma. They have to deal with that. All right? They're realizing that somebody is not authentic. And you probably was their true feminine or true divine masculine. And now you found your person. You locked in. All right? They know they stressing about money because they were using people. They were sleeping with people for money, for work. All right, now the economy is messed up. They haven't been practicing on their fears. They haven't been practicing on their talents. All right, this is the life that they chose and they got to stay there. All right, all the illusions are fading away. The veil has been lifted, baby. And now they have been ghosted by you. <laughs> Bye, Byron. No contact, ghosted. See, you did what they was trying to do to you. But you actually moved on in real life. <laughs> you actually moved on in real life. Okay, so um, they're, go they're suffering. They're very, they're suffering with an uncertainty about rent, about work, about money, about health care, about their, their health. All right? Because they have no contact. They have no lifeline no more. They can't get close to you. They can't, they can't, they can't call you. You booed up. You found your true twin flame. No more confusing lessons for soulmates. All right? So you've ghosted this person and you focused on who's loving you. All right? Coming soon. Your, your life will be completely different in the next year. All right? So um, let's see what's the closing out messages. And congratulations. Your other man did it. Your other man has did everything that the one before couldn't. And look. They suffering with mental health. You had a mental patient. You had somebody that was suffering with a lot of addictions. All right? You were their supply. You were their supply. Whether they were ciphering your energy, whether open roads were opening for them to, to do this, these people didn't deserve you. All right? You really had people that was suffering with mental illness. Literally. All right, you never was supposed to be with these people. These people was to learn, all right, and heal. That's why you was in their life. But baby, 1444 on the clock, you were never meant to be here. All right, this person was trying to pollute you so much, and they probably could have exposed you 
to addictions, all right? And things that was bringing your life down, baby, all right? You walked away, eight of cups to mental health. You wasn't supposed to be here, all right? They are drowning in their misery. And look what you did. You took a risk. You chose yourself after, you know, developing confidence in a relationship with yourself. And now you out on leaps of faith. Now you starting a new life, all right? Literally having fun. In union, you always been wifey material, baby. Okay, you was messing with villages. Okay, this is a proposal living together in marriage. You taking a risk on that, it's yours for the taking. So I love you guys, congratulations. You did it on them with that other man.